If you've ever thought one person in a sea of people couldn't create an enormous amount of change, think again. Our lives as women wouldn't be what they are today if it were not for an extraordinary West Australian woman, almost to this date, a century ago in 1921. See this $50 note? This is who we're talking about. Her name is Edith Cowan, and this is her story. She was a trailblazer for women and women's rights. She was the first female elected to Parliament and the second in the entire British Empire in 1921. She achieved extraordinary progress for women's rights without a guidebook. Instead, she wrote her own and passed it down. She stripped taboos on important social issues, promoted migrant welfare, fought for sex education in schools, and started the movement to give all women the right to vote. Edith was revolutionary. Remember, we are talking the 1920s. She was a crusader for social equality, helped the poor, the uneducated, the elderly, was awarded an OBE in 1920 for her work during the war, helping people recovering from health problems. Women could not become lawyers in Australia until Edith stepped in. She founded the Children's Protection Society, which led to the Children's Court and helped establish the King Edward Memorial Hospital for Women. She is one of Australia's greatest women, and in 1991, Edith Cowan University was named in her honour. It is still the only university in Australia to be named after a woman. Let's honour Edith Cowan by continuing to advocate for all women, because there is nothing we can't do. Edith showed us that.